around the time that I was writing The Art of Community, I realized that even though I was writing my idea of community, it wasn't really a good place in which people got together to discuss community. What happened was, I'd be flying out to a conference, somebody, you know, other people would be there as well. But people were there from the uh, perspective of their company. Um, they were there to talk about their project or the product or whatever else. And then I founded the Community Leadership Summit um, four years ago um, as a means to get people to, together to discuss uh, community management best practice and share ideas and meet people. Um, you're here as an individual essentially when you're here. Even though people are often flown out by their companies, they, they're very open to share their experiences with each other, which I think is the value of the event. I really, really like CLS because it helps me to feel less alone in the world. <laughs> All year long, we're, we're engaged with our technology, we're engaged with our community. We never take time out to become better at our jobs. So you get people from open source projects, people from technology startups, local people from Portland. At the table, we had two of us from the US, um, one person from India, one from Japan, one from China, and one from Spain. So I think it's very important to meet other people and to learn from their experiences and what happens in other companies and even other countries. There's a lot of overlap in the issues that we have. There's a lot of brain power here. The way we put together CLS is that we use this unconference format. And the way this works is we have an empty schedule on the wall. And at the beginning of the event, I explain broadly how it works. And then we have a bunch of pieces of paper and people write their ideas down. They write their name and the session that they want to talk about. Walk to the middle of the room and announce on a microphone what their idea is so people know about it. And then go and stick it on the, on the board. So the, the, essentially the attendees define the content. And then we're in a position whereby we have uh, you know, a good breadth of content uh, that is really representative of what the audience wants. So I think this year, the most compelling sessions for me, uh, we did one session on metrics, which I thought was really interesting. One uh, that John O'Bacon led on uh, how to inspire your community to challenge themselves. How to deal with alpha personalities. We had a session about how to deal with assholes, which uh, was very popular. So the more you can demonstrate things, or the more you can involve the audience and have Q&A that's, that's interactive, uh, helps keep everyone on their toes, and that's more interesting. You, you will find the event useful if you just show up and join sessions, but if you come here with a set of, of questions that you have, um, then this environment is set up for you to go and ask those questions, both in the sessions as well as in the breaks and in the bar and whatever else. Um, this is very interactive. It, it, I think community brings out the good in people, and when you bring out the good in people, amazing things can happen.